Hey guys, it's Jerry, um, aka Zomo Lomo, and uh, today uh, I'm going to do part two of ABG Internet Security 2011. Now, in the last video we did the install and uh, we did an overview of the uh, interface, what it looked like, all the different uh, security components here that you have with the internet security package. Um, one uh, or a couple of things that I noticed that I wanted to show you. First of all, uh, similar to Kaspersky 2011, AVG now gives you a gadget, which is pretty cool. Um, you can uh, scan right from the gadget. You can update right from the gadget so you don't have to open the interface to uh, actually do the, um, the update, which is pretty cool. And this, I think, is a setting of you know, PC analyzer um, button that you can analyze your PC right from the gadget. So that's pretty useful if you don't want to open, like I said, if you don't want to open the interface, it's, uh, it's very, very useful. Um, another thing that I noticed, the PC analyzer, in the beta version, if I double click and opened it, you can't analyze. The button is grayed out, not sure. Like I tried to click on uh, these categories here and it tells me that an analysis is required, but I can't analyze. So uh, if you guys know why, um, if you figured it out, let me know. But uh, I noticed here that you can't, you know, the, the button is not available. So they might have not, with this beta version, activated this, this uh, feature. Uh, so I just thought I'd show you guys that, that, um, that uh, the analyzer at this point with the beta version is not working. Um, what else? I mean, basically, at this point, um, that's it as far as showing you the gadget. I wanted to show you the analyze analyzer feature that's not working. Uh, going back to the main screen, uh, if we want to very quickly look at the different components, this is your antivirus, protects against virus, worms, trojans, unwanted executable files, libraries within your system. Um, so that's, uh, that's that, antivirus. Any spyware, active, uh, tells you how many definitions and when it was released. Uh, it protects against adware, spyware, shielding you from unwanted advertisements and software that secretly gathers your personal information. So that's pretty good. Uh, any spam, that's pretty self explanatory. Uh, you get your firewall. I mean, it's Nothing really. Uh, link scanner is pretty good. I, I uh, actually the link scanner when I um, when I was trying to get ready for the video, I noticed that when I tried to pull up the uh, MDL, the malware domain list, to give this uh, to give this uh, security uh, uh, program a try, it won't let me go into malware malware domain list. It says it's a uh, it's a dangerous site, so it won't let me open it, which I thought was pretty, uh, pretty weird. So, I mean, I guess that would be a uh, false positive. Um, yeah, it, it would be, but it's not. Um, but anyway, um, I thought that was kind of interesting that it didn't let me into the MDL. Uh, you have your resident shield, and that's what it looks like. Scans files that are copied, opened, and saved. If a threat is found, it forbids its activation. Also provides vital protection for the system areas of the computer. Uh, your email scanner, again, pretty self-explanatory, along with update manager, your license, online shield. Uh, protects you from accidentally downloading, downloading infected files or exchanging them over instant messaging. So uh, that's pretty good to have. It has web protection and IM protection, so that's good. Uh, any rootkit, as I said in my last video, this is kind of new for uh, AVG, or they added this feature into Internet Security. 
and uh, we'll check that out. Uh, system tools. You have your, your processes running, your network connections, your AutoStar browser extensions, and LSP Viewer. I think I went over that in uh, my last video, but uh, this is pretty straightforward. It does give you a, a severity level, which is really uh, handy to just kind of take a, a high level look at what's running on your computer and to, uh, and to see if anything on your computer that's currently running um, maybe malware or maybe harmful to your computer, so that's uh, that's pretty good. Uh, we talked about the PC analyzer and identity protection uh, is protecting your digital assets against new and unknown threats. It complements AVG signature-based protection by monitoring the way programs behave on your computer and automatically blocking any activity that could lead to ID theft without the need for updates. So. Uh, probably a cloud-based or heuristics kind of uh, protection, I would guess. Uh, so it's uh, it's a pretty uh, complete program uh, or suite. So um, and again, it's in beta. So uh, this is kind of what it's going to look like. Hopefully, they fix the PC analyzer um, section of it or a component of it. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video for a minute. I'm going to kind of get set up here, and we'll throw a few links at it. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, all right, so I had to open the MDL on my host machine. Because like I said, AVG won't let me open the site. And uh, right, I'm going to just basically pull right from the MDL and uh, throw some links in here and see what happens. This is the first one. It is a uh, Zeus Trojan. And that doesn't work. All right. So. This is an exploit kit. And if you notice, um, AVG has a uh, kind of similar to a WAD, I forget what it's called, but it uh, tells you if sites are safe to go into or not. So that's pretty good. These are all zero day. They're all from today. Um, try this one. So the uh, link scanner and the surf shield, that's the word I was looking for, the surf shield, says that this is a, a dangerous site and it was blocked. So that's good. All right. Let's find another one. Here's a fake antivirus. Coffee. Um. 
don't see anything happening yet. Let's see what happens. Oh, that got through. Uh, there's another exploit kit. And uh, I updated this about uh, uh, just a few minutes ago. I can update it again. Let's see what happens there. I'm not sure if, if that one, this link I just put in, actually went in, but let's try it again. Yeah, Internet Explorer is not responding already. So let's see. See if I can try something else. Is a Fragus exploit kit, whatever that is. Yeah, computers definitely slowed down. I think this is number three or number four, and I'm trying. Wow. I'm already at 13 minutes. Huh. Jeez, you know, when you're when you're doing these videos, the time goes by a lot quicker than when you're watching them. That's uh that's for sure. We'll try one more. Well, okay, that finally blocked it. Try a wall. We will block it. Close. So I, that was that was blocked. Okay, now it's starting to detect some malware. We'll move it to a vault. See if I can squeeze this last link in there. And now the okay. it uh, removed two processes and three files, four registry keys. It kind of tells you specifically what it removed. All right, I'm gonna um, stop the video now because I ran out of time. And uh, I'll do a part three, I guess, and uh, we'll continue. So uh, be back. Thanks for watching.